pour le peser. Mais j'ai déjà allumé l'eau. Je suis quand même dans la pour les sites, ça. Good morning. It's day two of the hunt. I really didn't get the vlog yesterday. Uh, I guess it was my day with the guide, so I wasn't alone all day, and I don't like vlogging when other people are around. So it's uh, eight o'clock in the morning, minus four degrees, and I'm walking uphill. This trail is going to take me until about 12 30 1 o'clock to finish walking it it's a big loop i saw one deer yesterday and uh, that was about it it was a doe too early in the hunt to shoot a doe uh, one of the guys in our group got a very nice eight point was uh, slightly piebald with uh a wannabe 10 point rack but the the two of the points were just too short to really count so it was an eight i got some pictures of it i'll include all that when i put this video together when i get home because uh, there's really no internet here no cell phone signal completely disconnected can't check facebook or texts every once in a while you'll 
come to a spot where uh, you got like one bar, but it's really a limited space and it doesn't always work well. So. There's something down there. I can't tell what it is. So. I'll be right back. Yeah, it was just a big fox. There's a silver fox and red fox on the island. And then there's crosses that are more black with little flecks of red. Or there's oranges with uh, really like a fiery orange color. Which are very nice. Saw a bunch of them this morning on the drive up here, the walking trail. So, and they're not afraid, they walk right up to the truck. So, it's nice to see them. I got some nice pictures of a few different ones. Anyway, I'm gonna stop this for now and walk for a bit, and uh, we'll update if we see anything else or get anything. The videos to be continued. I found a little place to sit. It's a nice little drop off here and there's a deer trail right there along the edge of the river. And another one coming down through the woods there. So I got two hours till the guide's picking me up. I don't know how far it is back to the main road. Um, from where... Uh, the trail turns back to the main road, but I'm gonna sit here for about 20 minutes or so and just watch. Hopefully something will come by, but it'd be awful dirty of me to shoot a deer down there and have the guy drag it up. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. You could always get a rope and winch it with the four-wheeler. Anyway, it's a beautiful little spot. Nice little brook down there. It's quiet, it's cold. I uh, spooked a buck about a half hour ago. I stopped because I heard a woodpecker and five feet in front of me, there was a little clearing and the buck just took off running. I saw his antler and I saw his tail up and that was it. Never had a chance to shoot. And even if I would have been able to get the gun up, he was so far into the woods by the time I saw him, it was a bit of a terrible shot. But that's the luck you get. If I wouldn't have stopped for the woodpecker, maybe I would have saw him. Maybe he still would have ran. You never know. Anyway. I'm going to take a few pictures. And uh, then I'm going to sit here for a bit and keep walking. Well, it's 10 to 12. My drive should be here soon. I'm just walking back down the road to... Uh, towards the direction he's supposed to pick me up from. Uh, since I spooked that buck, I've seen uh, one rabbit and three spruce grouse. No more deer. A few woodpeckers, but uh, nothing uh, I can shoot at. I do have a small game license for the island here for non-resident. So, I mean, I could have shot at the rabbit or the grouse, but I'm carrying a 30-06. You know, it's not exactly uh, going to do a good job of uh, killing a, a little spruce grouse. You know, at 10 feet, 30-06, there'd be nothing left worth salvaging, so I just watched them walk off the road and kept going. I do have my 22 with me. It's in the guide's truck, but I'm not going to carry both rifles. Out walking it's just too much weight so hopefully the guide's not late picking me up but I'll just keep walking in this direction until I get back out to the uh, crossroads there's a warm-up shack there and I'll sit in that until he shows up if uh, I don't see him before then 
So I'm going to keep walking, keep looking for deer. And uh, hopefully the guide shows up soon. I can warm up in the truck. It's still, uh, by my watch, uh, minus two. Although the sun did come out a little bit, it's not really warming up. I am wearing heavy gear, so it's not too bad, but I've still uh, got a chill. So, sitting in the warm truck for half an hour, have lunch would uh, do me good. Anyway, we'll get more updates as the day goes on. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a deer down by the end of this day. Stay tuned. There's two deer just crossed the road in front of me here. They just kept walking as they crossed. It's too far to shoot and it was, uh, they didn't stop so I had no chance to shoot. So I'm going to walk up nice and slow and see if they're still close to the edge of the road. Try and get a shot off. Wish me luck. Nope. I followed the deer trail in off the road for about 200 meters. Never saw them again. I'm back out on the main road now. Still no sign of the guide, but should be along any time now, hopefully. Well, that's three deer I saw today. No chance I shot at any of them, but at least I saw deer. So I'm gonna keep walking, and hopefully I get to the guide, the guide's truck, or the warm-up shack soon, as I am really cold. All right, I'll keep on going. God damn it. I just uh, bumped out a spike horn. I had a clean shot at it, but my rifle was slung on my shoulder instead of in my hand like it should have been. And the movement of bringing it down, the tail went up and he took off running. And that was it. Well, that's four deer now. Six spruce grouse and two rabbits. I still haven't got the guide and it's 12.30. So he's a half hour late coming to get me, which means they probably got some deer with the other fellas. So I'm gonna keep walking. I'm almost at the end of the trail there where the warm up shack is, so maybe they'll see something else. Can only hope. Oh, there's a shot. Somebody just shot something and not too far away. Yeah, I'm at the end of the trail, the one more shot's right here. Okay, so uh, check in again after. There's the warm up shot. There's my guide's truck. So when we heard that shot, it came from just up here. But what I find interesting is he's pointed the wrong way to come and get me. I wonder how that is. They must be tracking the deer into the woods there, so I'm just gonna walk up to the truck, sit inside, and have my lunch. Who knows, maybe I'll see a deer between here and there. Oh, I need to warm up. Check later. <laughs>